Question number 3A. One of the ores of iron is hematite Fe203. Uh, give, the name, give the name and formula of two other ores of iron. Uh, so the first one is siderite. Siderite. And the formula is FeCO3. Uh, the other one we can talk of is magnetite. And the formula is FeO4. Uh, uh, we also have another one. We have iron pirate. Iron pirate. And the formula is FeS2. So you get a half mark for the name, a half mark for the formula. Uh, if you name any two of these, you should be able to get two marks. And that's how you answer that question. Part B. In a certain factory, iron is extracted from the hematite uh, ore using the brass furnace as shown in figure 1. The other raw materials are coke, limestone and air. The melting and boiling point of iron are 1535 degrees centigrade and 3000 degrees centigrade respectively. So we have the furnace here, we have, uh, this is iron, uh, okay, we have uh, hot air here, so we have uh, uh, two, three stages here, we have fire brick lining, that is uh, the one that makes the furnace, uh, here we have iron that is being produced, and here we have waste gases. Uh, so let's go to the question, state how the temperature is in region 1 compares with with that in region 2 give a reason so if we go back to our diagram here uh, this is uh, region 1 and this is region 2 so we can say temperature in region 1 is lower than uh, region 2 uh, why the reason is uh, the raw materials are not preheated uh, region 2 is nearer to the hot air Brass, which you can see here than region 1 uh, hot air rises as okay as the hot air rises that is hot air it becomes cooler so we can answer that question and say temperature in region 1 temperature in region 1 1 is lower is lower than uh, region 2 okay uh, so we can say raw materials are not preheated are not preheated uh, and we can say uh, region 2 Region 2 is nearer is nearer uh, to the hot air blast to the hot uh, to the hot air blast to the hot air blast that's preheated. Uh, that is why the temperature in region 2 is higher than that of region 1 and we can say as air rises as air rises as air rises in the furnace uh, furnace is like that it becomes cooler it becomes cooler so that's how you answer that question you should be able so you give uh, 
uh, you state uh, the, the temperature it compares with the region one and you get a half mark for giving the reason so you can say uh, raw materials are not preheated region or you can say region two is nearer to the hot bra air blast that is preheated uh, or you can say as air rises in the furnace it becomes cooler so any of this one of this reason you should be able to get another half mark and that's how you answer that question Roman number three suggest the value for the temperature in region two in, in region three give a reason so if we go back to our diagram this is region three uh, the hottest uh, uh, region since it is near the hot air blast uh, so the reason here is uh, we are told that the melting point and the boiling point of iron is between uh, that is 1,335 uh, degrees centigrade to 3,000 degrees centigrade so if we maintain uh, any temperature uh, between this the, the, the melting point and the boiling point then it should keep the iron in molten state. Uh, so to answer that question, you say any value uh, between any value between 1,535 that is the melting point to 3,000 degrees centigrade the melting point. So this help. This helps to keep the iron in molten state. So that is the reason why we should maintain the temperature at within the range of 1535 and 3000. So that's how you answer that. Roman number three, suggest a value for the temperature in region two, in, in region three, give a reason. So if we go back to our diagram, this is region three, uh, the hottest uh, uh, region since it is near the hot air blast. Uh, so the reason here is uh, we are told that the melting point and the boiling point of iron is between, uh, that is 1,535 degree centigrade to 3000 degrees centigrade so if we maintain uh, any temperature uh, between this the, the the melting point and the boiling point then it should keep the iron in molten states uh, so to answer that question you say any value uh, between any value between 1535 that is the melting point to 3000 degrees centigrade the melting point so this help this helps to keep the iron in molten state so that is the reason why you should maintain the temperature at bet within the range of 1535 and 3000. So that's how you answer that. Uh, part 4, Roman number 4, name the main component in the slag. So the main component in the slag is calcium silicate. Calcium uh, silicate. Uh, which uh, we write uh, calcium silicate that's the formula for calcium silicate Roman number five state one state one rule that the slag play in the uh, blast furnace uh, the the slag prevent uh, if you go back to the diagram you can see the the, the slag is covering the the iron so it prevents oxidation uh, of iron by hot air it prevents oxidation of iron uh, by hot air 
and that's how you answer that question roman number seven recycling is one method used to reduce production cost state and explain the byproduct that can be recycled in this factory one of the byproduct uh, is a uh, waste waste gases this can be used uh, used to preheat the air blast the air blast another byproduct is carbon dioxide which is a gas uh, it is also used to preheat used to preheat the air blast the other one is carbon monoxide which is a gas uh, it is used as a reducing agent uh, the other one is used to it also it is also used to preheat the air blast so these are the pro the byproduct which can be recycled uh, in order to reduce the production cost and by doing that you'll be able to get or setting to you will be able to get two marks uh, part two we are told the main reducing agent in the furnace is carbon uh, carbon two oxide uh, formed by the reaction so we have a we have a carbon dioxide which is a gas we have a carbon which is solid you get carbon monoxide which is a gas write two equation to show how carbon uh, carbon four oxide carbon dioxide is formed in this uh, in the furnace so we can say we can take carbon which is a solid uh, we add oxygen uh, which is a gas and that will give us carbon dioxide which is a gas another equation you can say calcium carbonate that is a calcium carbonate which is a solid if it is heated so heat uh, it will produce carbon ca calcium oxide uh, which is a solid and produce carbon dioxide which is a gas another one that we can write is iron oxide uh, so this is two three uh, plus uh, carbon monoxide so carbon monoxide which is a gas and uh, we have iron uh, we have 2 fe and we have plus this is solid and we have uh, carbon dioxide which is a gas so any two of this you should be able to get two marks uh, the, uh, uh, concerning the equations uh, that to show that uh, how carbon dioxide is formed in the furnace and that's how you answer that question uh, part four roman number four name the main component in the slag so the main component in the slag is calcium silicate calcium uh, silicate uh, which uh, we write uh, calcium silicate that's the formula for calcium silicate roman number five state state one rule that the slag play in the uh, blast furnace uh the the slag prevent uh if you go back to the diagram you can see the the, the slag is covering the the iron so it prevents oxidation uh, of iron by hot air it prevents oxidation of iron uh, by hot air and that's how you answer that question 